Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. What I'm going to do in the next few weeks is to look at companies that have done really well this year. Companies like the Consumer Stables and Healthcare. These are the companies that didn't do well in the you know 2020 and 2021 when technology companies took over. It was all about high growth companies. But 2022, things have done changed slightly. So since the beginning of the year, a lot of the tech companies have went down and it was mainly consumer stables and healthcare that took over from them because everyone realized in a recession times, consumer stables, because they sell household goods and stuff like that, they are actually better, um, they perform better. Healthcare, because we all need healthcare, we're all getting older and all that kind of things, okay? For that reason, okay, it's a necessity, it's not something that we just want, okay? So it becomes a need, and for that reason, healthcare companies gone up quite a bit. So I've been looking at my portfolio and thinking, okay, where can I actually add money to you? You know, in the healthcare and consumer stables, because I do like the companies that I own in my portfolio, and I would like to add a couple of other companies that are on my watch list um, to my portfolio as well. So what I'm going to do in the next few weeks, I'm going to add basically do one single video, like a one single stock analysis, just to look at these companies and see if they are a buy right now or if we should wait and that's what we're going to do so today we're going to start with amgen and as you can see right there i own 10 shares of amgen and right now i'm up 25 percent so let's have a look at this stock first of all okay and then we'll see if this is a buy or not okay so the first thing we're going to do is just like i said is in the healthcare com is a healthcare company right now is trading 247 dollars per share I think at some point when, when I was buying this, it was about less, about 200 or even less than that. And you can see, the so this company, by the way, before we move on, it delivers human therapeutics worldwide. It focuses on inflammation, oncology, hematology, and bone health, and so on, cardiovascular diseases, and so on. Some of these products that they have, if you go to their website, especially for healthcare companies, what you want to see is because remember their products it changes all the time they're doing a lot of new research they're finding out this and that and obviously they will obviously they they go get they basically go through about three different stages okay stage one when they're doing the research and testing it whatever is stage two and then stage three i think is where basically they're sending it to um, the fda to actually get approval and so on so if you go to their website and click this download link here it takes you to this website uh, page right and this page has all the um all the basically products or all the d d drugs basically they are currently developing in different sectors okay so as you can see here there's a couple of three that are in phase three you've got two that are in phase one and then I don't know these um, drugs and this is my weakness when it comes to healthcare companies okay you might be working in healthcare that will give you a massive advantage because you will know if some of the products that they're coming up is actually needed in the industry okay if it's actually needed in hospitals and so on right um, but yeah you can see some they've got quite a few phase, phase threes when things are in phase three that kind of to me that means if they get approval and is and that's a new drug then that means it's a new revenue okay so they never revenue for the at least next five to ten years if they get approval if it's a good drug if it's actually helping if it makes a difference so they have a massive list of products okay or drugs that they're coming up and um, some a lot of them are still phase one and two and so on and some of them are in phase three and so on so you have to just go through these things if you understand just to see how much of basically in terms of growth side of it is this company actually innovative if they're coming up with the new drugs and so on and i like the fact that they've got so many drugs going on and hopefully then in out of you know this many drugs a list of two or three will be needed and hopefully will help him you know mankind <laughs> okay and they will make some money in the long run okay so that's the that's the company in a nutshell and again if you are you know if you work in the that side of in the industry then have a look at that right so like i said it's trading right now 247 dollars per share eps is about 11.8 um eleven dollars and eighty cents right and the next year is actually expected to grow about eighteen dollars and eighty one cents which is really good okay that's a massive growth currently they have 132 market cap they have wide economic mode and beta is quite low so so far so good right 
valuation side of things now what we want to see if this is expensive normally anything below 10, 20 or 15 is actually better but in these days you can't find a lot of companies that are under, under um, 15 but yeah um, 20 is actually quite reasonable PE so the PE ratio tells us if this company is actually expensive but anything below 20 I think is all right but the sector is 23 so right now they their PE is only 21 so that's fine and price to free cash flow is actually good so 16.63 right in terms of dividend they have a nice dividend three over three percent their payout ratio is only 68 percent and I think that is might be a mistake because the website I'm getting information from sometimes doesn't have the accurate so let me quickly show you you what I did. there we go according to simply um, save dividend it's about 41 percent okay 41 percent um so that's it five-year growth rate 12 percent dividend growth streaks of 10 years and dividend safety according to simply save dividend is 74 percent which is really nice so that tells us basically this dividend is not going to be cut in the next few years they have a free cash flow of 8.35 billion dollars and that is a money they can use to pay us dividend buy back shares reinvest it in the business acquire other companies pay off debt they can do a lot of things with that money which is really nice five-year revenue growth percentage is basically two and a half percent in the last five years so these companies they go through phases because if the drugs that they come up this year actually gets approval their revenue goes up and basically in the next five to ten years and if the drugs start slowing down and other companies basically they run out of their patent and all of that stuff then they see slow in the business and so on so maybe last five years it hasn't been great okay but when you look at the growth in the expectation as, as next year in terms of eps is actually heading in the right direction which is quite nice in terms of profit margins we're looking about 22 percent which is very nice operating margins of 29 percent return on equity almost 98 percent total return in the last 10 years if you had this stock you would be between dividends and price appreciation you would have made 13 and a half percent which is really nice current ratio 1.4 that's really good because that tells us the company has enough money to pay off their debt in the next 12 months so the current liabilities okay current assets cover current liabilities which is really nice the expectation from the analyst next five years are seven percent growth in the earnings which is really nice and according to simply wall, uh, wall street they actually think 53 percent undervalued at the moment their price target is 532 dollars per share i'm not sure that is doable i'm not sure that where that comes from, where that is, that's coming from maybe they know some of the drugs that like, this company has and you know it's gonna hit i don't know i have no idea where they they get that information from because remember these companies they actually take into consideration what they're doing is kind of predicting where the company might be in the next five year, um, next couple of years or right now as intrinsic value okay so they use discounted um, free cash flow model to actually find out okay basically the intrinsic value Morningstar is a bit more I uh, like conservative like I've always said okay and 260 dollars there is basically their target is fairly valued at the moment like we've seen is 247 dollars per share right now tip rank is actually saying it's almost right now a basically fair value that right now basically that's what they're saying okay there's no upside if you buy it right now i mean basically it is almost becoming and overvalued for them okay yahoo finance 253 dollars per share that's also their target so it is above their target and according to tip ranks is actually a hold right and i kind of agree with that okay because i have seen this stock okay go in the last let's go in just a year for example right the lowest is spin is 198 dollars per share and that was november of 2021 okay november 30th of november 2021 so i was buying around this time okay and that's why i'm up quite a bit right now as, we, as you can see here for almost 400 over 400 pounds so yeah it's a great company but right now i think it's a hold for me i wouldn't be adding to as much um if i add it you know i'll probably be dollar cost average and maybe just put you know the 20 30 pounds here and there and just buy one small shares here and there but not um but as the market keeps going up i'm just gonna leave it if it keeps going down then it becomes a better value then i will definitely my price target will probably be around where i started buying but again my average is actually 225 dollars per share 
okay if it comes down to 230 maybe i'll look at it again okay so that's my, that's me right so let's have a look in terms of some of these companies what they do is they dilute our shares okay um so let's go into what what that means basically is they actually give um they pr basically create more shares so your own share that you had is no longer okay one share so if you bought this stock and a couple of years ago right now that one share will be worth more because they actually buying back their shares when is the other way around so the company is diluting your shares your one share is no longer value basically as valued as it was when you bought it first and that's something to be to bear in mind a lot of the technology companies new and upcoming com companies actually and issue more shares so they can make more money so when they issue new shares new people will buy it that money is basically free money basically right so they don't have to go to the bank and so on and i get that some companies do that and i actually like when the smaller companies do that because instead of getting in debt then you issue more shares so when the company becomes bigger later on and they've got enough free cash flow then they can buy back those shares instead of by basically getting a debt um, in you know getting a debt from the bank and so on and paying a high interest and stuff right so that's better and then total sales in the last 10 years 12 um 10 years you can see it's also heading the right direction and this is going down which is really good the shares outstanding is going down the sales is going up so this is a solid business i like it um you just have to learn more about the drugs that they sell okay the products that they sell are they actually in the right industries and whatever okay once you understand that then i think it's easy to kind of keep an eye on it just put it in your watch list put your price target and wait for that to the company to come down to your thing so my plan like i said if it hits about 130 ish i'll probably buy more but I do like the company. It's really nice. It pays really nice dividend. I think their dividends per share, let me quickly show you, is $7.76 right now. So every dollar, every stock, um, every share you own, okay, per share, that's basically what you will get, which is really nice. So X dividend is the 17th of August. So very soon, coming up very soon. And yeah, really great company. Let me quickly show you, in fact, how much they paid me in dividends recently. So you can see $13 for owning those 10 shares. That's 13 pounds, sorry. 13 pounds and 17 cents for um, 14 pence for that owns. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I've always said to you guys, if all oh, be careful, do your own research. But yeah, if you like this type of videos, please like and subscribe. If there's a couple of stocks that you would like me to look into, also let me know. I'm putting in the comment section and then inshallah I will put in my on my list and I will add to the videos inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.